In this video, I am going to talk about how to generate a vibrational spectra in Metal Studio uh, when we do the phonon calculation. So let's get started. So before getting this, first what we have to do is we need to run a phonon calculation. And in phonon calculation, we need to select IR also. So what's that? Suppose this is your structure on which you are working on. <coughs> Excuse me. And you are performing a phonon calculation along with IR. Okay. Then only you can get that IR spectra. So for that, in the properties, we need to select. Uh, you need to select the phonon. You need to select the phonon. Then you need to select this uh, polarizability, IR, and the spectra. These two things you need to select. Okay. So for phonons, I have already told you how to select, and uh, you have to. You can get this density of state, phonon density of state, or dispersion, and both. Generally, we select both. Then this is uh, calculate calculate allo and TO splitting. So this will help you in the uh, that phonon dispersion uh, to clear the longitudinal optical uh, bands and trans, uh, transverse optical bands. So it will be clear. So you just take it. And this this is the method you can use linear response and final displacement. I have already discussed in my previous video that linear response is a far better method as compared to final dis displacement. Okay, so we'll use linear response method. Other than that, uh, no need. Uh, yeah, from here you can select the dispersion uh, at the fine, and density state also at fine. And the path will be same as your uh, band structure. Whatever suppose for band structure calculation, whatever path you have given, the same path will be taken care here also. Okay. Suppose we have a rectangular system and this is a two-dimensional system, right? So for a two-dimensional system, uh, you'll be having how many K points? We'll be having uh, four spatial K points and uh, we have, so here, so along this direction, you will be having one. So that is what? Here you have gamma, right? At the origin and here you have Y. So we'll be having Z to Y. Okay, so I have taken uh, Z to gamma here because um, when you do a phonon calculation, you will be getting a cone kind of scene, okay, where that optical bands and uh, your uh, other bands, which is um, acoustic bands. So the acoustic bands will be forming a cone kind of thing because that will be triply degenerate at gamma, okay. So if you are taking gamma at the beginning in the K point, so you cannot see that cone kind of thing where that the triply degenerate acoustic bands are there. Okay, because in the dispersion calculation, we will be having two kind of bands. We will be having acoustic bands and optical bands. Generally, optical bands will be uh, higher above, higher in energies, and acoustic will be down. If optical band is coming down, means you will be having an active frequency. Okay, and generally, that acoustic band will be triply generated at gamma. If it is like that, uh, that optical is above and uh, um, at gamma you are having uh, acoustic bands triply degenerate, means your system is uh, dynamically stable, there is no negative frequency. Okay. So here I will, uh, I have taken uh, Z to gamma, which is here, Z to gamma, then gamma to Y, and Y to T, and T to G. And there is a diagonal also. Okay, so that we can take. Uh, since I have, so maybe in between somewhere I have to take, maybe here itself I can insert, so here I can take from uh, Z to Y, no, we have to take from Gamma to T, so I will take that. Maybe we can start with this uh, gamma to y, y to t. 
So here in the right side, you can see that is the first below zone. In the pink color, that is the below, okay, first below, where we are giving the K points. So you can see, so third will be from T to G and uh, next will be G to gamma and another one diagonal will be gamma to T. Okay, now if you see this, uh, now that diagonal is also taken care here, right? So now actually when you will see this, uh, so here I have taken gamma at the beginning. So uh, it will be that at gamma there will be three bands, acoustic bands. Okay, I will show you that. So this is the way to take the k point path that I have already discussed in the band structure calculation. Okay, and that's all here. Now you go to the phonon calc this uh, polarizability and IR Raman spectral calculation. Here you have to collect, calculate both, and here you take auto, go to the mode section, and no need to change anything here. The cutoff and tolerance is everything is fine. The default whatever is there is kind of okay until you have some specific thing this is okay now you can run the calculation okay no problem once your calculation is over you will get the output file right so i'll remove this tracking uh, that below is on that reciprocal that is I have removed so this is your output structure right once your calculation is done what you need to do is we go to the cash step analysis and now since uh, we are we have done the phone on right so if you are interested in the phone on you can click on the phone on and you can view the phone on suppose you are interested in phone on so you can see the phone on so at So this is the uh, uh, triply degenerate at gamma, this is the acoustic band and above you are having the optical band. So this optical band is above, not below. If optical bands are coming below this acoustic band means your system is having negative frequency. Since there is no uh, optical band coming below means your system is dynamically stable. Okay. Okay. Now we are interested in the IR spectra actually. So for that you have to search for yeah ir spectrum okay you just click on the ir spectrum and you click on the uh, import and make sure that a electric field test file is selected here okay click on import so once you click on the import you won't see anything here so what uh, that is the doubt most of the viewers will be having so you, you have to go to the tool and here you can see this vibrational analysis okay now you go to the vibration analysis and click on the calculate. Now you can see these frequencies and the intensity, right? And at the same time, you can click on the spectrum. Once you are clicking on the spectrum, you can see the spectrum here, right? So this is the spectrum. Now you can make all changes in the spectrum based on your, so you can do all those changes from here. So if you want to, uh, fine quality ultra fine quality you can do all those changes from here okay suppose i want uh, specific things in my uh, ir spectrum what i can do is i will go for ultra fine and so smooth and spectra and you can give the maximum amplitude and the number of steps in between and all those things you can do from here then you can generate And you can get this uh, spectrum okay so this is the spectrum if suppose you want to remove certain things from here you can click here and you can remove uh, you want to remove the intensities you can remove now you will have this uh, spectrum now now suppose you want to plot this spectrum if you want to copy this and uh, you want to put in your manuscript you can do one thing right click copy 
and suppose you have any uh, PowerPoint there you paste as a picture then you can get this uh, I'll show you uh, otherwise there are some other options also to do this work so if you are doing as a this uh, text what will happen you see you will get the data the intensity and the frequency data okay since it is used it is taking more time because it will be a big in number so okay it's a big in number so that's why i think it's taking time if you just go for picture you will get this okay that spectrum alone but since see once you are putting this in your manuscript you have to you know uh, squeeze it little bit and it won't look good so what we do is we export this file as csv format go to the export menu and they export this file as uh, csv so suppose you want to have a picture of that file you can click on the save as a bmp file okay that will give you the picture format and if you want to like get the csv comma substituted file you can get this now this comma substituted file you can open in excel or is it and you can plot accordingly the way you want okay that is the way so this is the way how to get the ir spectrum for uh, materials in metal studio once we do this for on calculation in the ir spectrum calculus okay if you have any doubt pertaining to this video you can put in the comment section i will try to answer all those uh, questions whatever is there and i will put the video related to phone calculation in the description below thank you for watching the video